for the Muskegon channel, Positively Muskegon, and I am so excited. I'm back at my alma mater, Reese Puffer, and I've got some very special people I have to introduce you to. So I have Kayla. Kylie. Kylie, I'm sorry, <laughs> Kayla mm -hmm. and Deidre Ross, and they are all a part of a very special show that's going to be taking place this coming weekend at the Reese Puffer High School Auditorium. Of course, Peter Pan Jr., which is fun for the whole family. Thanks so much, everybody, for sitting down with me to talk about this a little bit, how exciting this is. Deidre Ross, who is a fabulous teacher, and she is the director of Peter Pan Jr. Thanks for having us. So why don't you tell me a little bit about the theater program here at Reese Puffer Middle School? Sure. Well, um, I am part-time here at the middle school teaching choir and theater. So I have two sections of theater and two sections of choir, and it's a lot of fun. Um, our choir program has a little over 100 students in it. And so each spring we do kind of an end of the year production and it's just grown in popularity over the years because mm -hmm. musical theater kind of combines all of the elements of choir and theater mm -hmm. together and it makes it really fun for the kids. So all the students um, that are in the choir program are automatically in the show in some capacity which makes it really unique. Um, we do have auditions to kind of divvy out and mm -hmm. assign certain roles in the show, but everyone is in the cast in some way. So it makes our program a little unique in that. Um, no one's caught out of the program. Um, we're all involved, and it makes it just a special experience for these 7th and 8th grade students. Oh, it's, I'm really excited. I'm going to come to the show. By the way, we need to throw out Peter Pan Jr. again at the Reese Puffer High School Auditorium. What are the dates of the show? Uh, the there is, there's a 7 o'clock show on May 4th, and there's a 2 p.m. show and a 7 p.m. show on um, uh, the May 5th. May 5th, yes. <laughs> so Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and how can someone get their hands on some tickets for this great show? Well, they can order online, or they can go to the box office at the auditorium. And if you want to order online, it's at rpmsmusical.ludus.com. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have all this information on the blog written right below, too. So, you know, we will come back to that, but we will have all the information, as you will see. It's listed below on the blog. Now, I understand you two are actually actors in this production, so why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience with acting. Tell us what your character is first. Go ahead. Uh, I play Peter Pan. Woo uh, I'm Hook. <laughs> Captain Hook. Oh, my gosh. It's, I bet you've been having a blast with mm -hmm. this. Have you ever been in plays before? I've been in only a few before. A few? That's yeah. more than most like, people. It's been like two. <laughs> That's more than most people can say yeah, in their yeah. whole lives. I've been, I've been in a few too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So are you also in the choir program at Reese Buffer? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm also in theater too. Awesome. <laughs> hey, my fellow <laughs> choir theater kids. I was also, and I, I was talking uh, to Deidre right before we started the interview today at how important the arts are to students. And it's not just, you know, for the entertainment value of it, but all the wonderful things that it does for kids growing up, being involved in band and choir and theater and speech. And mm -hmm. why don't you talk a little bit about the importance of the arts in our schools? Absolutely. Um, there's so much to say, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, the arts I've always looked at, they're awesome as a standalone subject, obviously, but they're also something that is kind of the connected tissue of all subjects, really. There's so many ways that the arts connect us as human beings. And I think that, especially in this day and age where technology and social media have really taken kind of over our society, um, the arts classes and projects like the musical give us an opportunity to come together face to face as humans. And, you know, it's a lot of hard work. And so kids really have to learn social skills, they have to work together, cooperation. Um, I've had a lot of students that are involved in other activities, athletics, or um, other involvements, and, and say to me, you know, Mrs. Ross, this is, this is like a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, you know, this is a lot more of a commitment, but and in the end, it, it is so worth it. It's, you know, we work these many, many weeks for just this small experience at the end, but there's something about the heart and emotion and social side of things that I, I think we all need nowadays. And um, telling a story through music is so unique. Mm -hmm. And so I just think that, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> I've seen it change students from, you know, students that might be more reluctant to um, socialize with other kids or get up in front of class mm -hmm. and participate mm -hmm. 
literally in just a few weeks of interacting in theater and choir completely turn around and come out of their shells and be embraced for their unique person that they are. And that is something that I think it gives them just like a really stable base as a, as a person. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully that can carry into other things as well. I always tell my students um, in theater and choir, even if you, you know, end up working as a greeter in a store or even mm -hmm. at the, the drive through window, mm -hmm. um, social skills and being mm -hmm. able to interact with people politely and well, that's something that you carry with you no matter what job you have. And um, it enriches your life. So, Absolutely. So important. Absolutely. And that's why it's so important to support the arts in our schools. Let me say it again. Support the arts in our schools. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just so excited about this show. And now, you're, you've both been in plays before. Um, so tell us a little bit about your characters in case anyone out there is curious as to they're not familiar with Peter Pan. There might be a few. <laughs> but, so why don't you tell us a little bit about your characters? Okay, well, Peter Pan is a boy who never wants to grow up, and he flies into the mainland, or like the normal world, and he meets these three children for like the first time, and then he takes them off to Neverland, and they just have a very fun experience with pirates, brave girls, and there's a lot of flying, <laughs> and yeah. Oh, how fun! So you're actually going to get to fly! Oh my gosh, that's exciting. That's going to be fun to watch. And you are the villain. Mm -hmm. You're the villain. You're so sweet. I'm like, having, see, that's, what it, that's, the, that's acting. That is, that, is, that is acting when you can, sweet boy like you can pull off being the villain. So we can't wait to see it as Hook. So why don't you tell us about your transformation into Hook? It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's a lot of fun to be sort of mean to people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, you know, he's a pirate, so he's kind of mean. He just wants to get rid of you, of Peter Pan. Um, it, it's just, it is really just a fun, a fun show. <laughs> fun for the whole family, yeah. right? Yeah. And anybody, bring your kids, your grandparents, and everybody in between. It's fun for the whole family, and it's in support of the arts. Reese Puffer <laughs> Arts Program. And again, um, the shows are this Friday, May 4th mm -hmm. at 7 o'clock, and then this Saturday, May 5th, 2 p.m. matinee, and then again at 7 o'clock mm -hmm. on May 5th. That's so awesome. So again, Caleb, why don't you tell me how much tickets are? And uh, All tickets are $8, um, and they are available, again, at Reese Puffer, or rpmsmusical.ludus.com. Awesome. Again, we'll have all the information listed mm -hmm. below. But uh, in closing, um, this is such a wonderful event, and I know that there's probably many, many more events down the road. Um, if there's someone listening, uh, maybe another school system, maybe a church group, or just a community group that would like to start something like this in their own community. Deidre, what can you recommend to someone to getting this all put together? I know it's a big undertaking. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Where do we begin? Where do we begin? Where do we begin? Uh, well, here at Reese Puffer, um, you know, this, is, this has grown to become something that truly cannot be done by myself alone. I am very blessed to work with um, actually, some of my colleagues were some of my former teachers. I'm also a Reese Pepper graduate. Yay. So uh, they were very young teachers when I was here. And um, when I came on to teach, graduating from college, they were still here. And we just, we really have relied on one another. Um, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my high school colleague, Trent Clarider and Regina Schlock. Those are our <laughs> high school theater and choir directors out there. We work in tandem. And really, the three of us, um, that, that partnership is really how this has evolved into what it is. Um, Trent Clarider is uh, a legend in our yes, area. He is. He yes, is. he is. And uh, <laughs> he really has helped me. I'm really a music educator by trade. And so as these shows have developed, I just have reached out to him. I think networking is so important. You know, find people that maybe, you know, I might not be that involved or um, educated in something, so find someone who is and befriend them and network. Um, also, it's been a labor of love, you know, for me as a director, I've, over the years, it's it's grown, but I wrote a lot of grants early on when we didn't have the funds. Mm -hmm. um, ticket sales obviously started growing, and so we are able to replenish our um, musical budget for the next year. So mm -hmm. ticket proceeds from Peter Pan will actually fund future kids experience, which is really neat. And yeah, really just coming out and supporting the shows, um, that helps us as well. So getting your ticket, bringing you know, your 
huge family, hopefully, <laughs> weekly. Um, all of that supports our kids. And, and when they show up on your doorstep with candy bars <laughs> for the 18th time, that helps as well. Support the arts. Support, support the support arts. The arts. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not one thing. It's many things. It's networking. It's, it is, it's supportive administration that allows us to do these things and is excited for what it does for kids. It's um, all of those things. There's, there's really no magic bullet. It's a lot of hard work, but um, if you can if you can find the right people to work with, um, you can really you can make a lot of magic with kids and, and uh, make a difference in their lives. So. Speaking of making magic, people <laughs> can't you and you're. It takes a village. I mean, whether you're the actors on stage, the stage crew, the people helping uh, with the backstage, from everything to the wardrobe to the lights, everything. Thank you everyone for putting this wonderful production together. Deidre Ross, congratulations Thank on these you. fabulous actors and everyone helping out with Peter Pan Jr. Again, this weekend, Reese Puffer High School Auditorium. We've got all the information how you can jump on those tickets on our blog right below. But thanks to everybody for letting me take a little bit of your time today. Go Reese Puffer, go support the arts, <laughs> and thanks for tuning in with the Muskegon Channel and Positively Muskegon.